In the Bible, Samson only prayed twice, and it was when he needed something from God. Although Samson was a judge and leader of his people, he wasn't mentioned as a character that prayed much in the Bible. The only times we see him pray are after his victory over the 1,000 men of the Philistine forces and right before he destroys the Philistine's temple. Judges chapter 15 verse 18 Then Samson was very thirsty, and he called out to the Lord and said, You have given this great victory through the hand of your servant, and now am I to die of thirst and fall into the hands of the uncircumcised pagans? Judges chapter 16 verse 28 Then Samson called to the Lord and said, O Lord God, please remember me, and please strengthen me just this one time, O God, and let me take vengeance on the Philistines for my two eyes. Number 10. How Strong Was Samson? Many people have wondered how strong Samson was. Here are five instances that demonstrate his strength. First, he slayed a lion with his bare hands. Then Samson went down to Timnah with his father and mother, and came as far as the vineyards of Timnah. And behold, a young lion came roaring toward him, and the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon him, so that he tore it apart as one tears apart a young goat, though he had nothing in his hand, but he did not tell his father or mother what he had done. So he went down and talked to the woman, and she looked pleasing to Samson. When he returned later to take her, he turned aside to look at the carcass of the lion, and behold, the swarm of bees and honey were in the body of the lion. So he took out the honey on his hands and went on, eating as he went. When he came to his father and mother, he gave some to them, and they ate it. But he did not tell them that he had took the honey out of the body of the lion. Judges chapter 14 verses 5 to 9 His second feat of strength was winning over thirty Philistines. Samson had offered a riddle challenge and promised a great reward. Samson entertained and challenged his thirty male Philistine guests by asking them to solve a riddle within seven days. The prize Samson offered was thirty linen garments and thirty changes of clothing to the deserving guest. If no one solved the riddle, the guests would have to give Samson an identical prize. After his challenge was won, Samson had to reward his Philistine guests. Judges chapter 14 verse 19 then the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon and killed thirty men of them, and took what they were wearing and gave the outfits of clothes to those who told the riddle. And his anger burned, and he went up to his father's house. His third feat of strength was capturing one hundred and fifty pairs of foxes. His fourth feat of strength was slaying one thousand men with the jawbone of a donkey. His fifth feat of strength was carrying the city gates for nearly forty miles. Samson's unbridled lust led him to the house of a harlot in the Philistine city of Gaza, near the end of his tenure. The citizens of the city believed they had finally captured their adversary. But Samson arose at midnight and carried off the city gates, as well as the two gateposts, to the top of the hill facing Hebron, a distance of nearly forty miles. We must accept the fact that sin can infiltrate every aspect of our lives. We must understand that sin has a blinding and numbing effect on us. Otherwise, we will become entangled in it, just as Samson did. All sin, especially sexual sin, has dire and sometimes fatal consequences. Sin binds us, then blinds us, and finally grinds away at us slowly and inexorably. In reality, sin will lead us further than we intend. It will keep us for longer than we intend to stay. 
Furthermore, sin will cost us more than we expect. We must heed the stern caution. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Number 11. He destroyed more Philistines on the day he died than he did in all his years alive. Judges chapter 16 verse 30. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he stretched out with all his might, collapsing the support pillars. And the house fell on the lords and on all the people who were in it. So the dead whom he killed at his death were more than those whom he had killed during his life. To celebrate Samson's capture and give glory to Dagon, their god, the Philistines assembled at a temple in Gaza. Samson was called out of prison to make sport before the assembled body. Led by a little lad to a position between two pillars, Samson asked to feel the pillars. He then prayed to God for strength to avenge himself. God answered, and Samson pulled down the supporting pillars of the temple. Though it resulted in his death, he slew more Philistines with this act than during his life. On this day, Samson single-handedly slew 3,000 men and women of the Philistines, and this was how his story ended. We can say he went out with a bang or utter destruction. Number 12. Even though he had his ups and downs, Samson is listed. Samson unfortunately had succumbed to the idolatrous culture around him and made bad decisions. Nonetheless, in Hebrews chapter 11 verses 32 and 33, Samson is mentioned in the Hall of Faith, along with other upright Old Testament heroes such as Daniel. And every heart should be filled with hope as a result of this inclusion. While Samson was far from flawless, he did get one thing right. He believed God could use him to carry out his will. Therefore let us trust God, submit to his agenda for our lives, and give him everything we have. C. H. McIntosh observes, The lap of Delilah proved too strong for the heart of Samson, and what a thousand Philistines could not do was done by the ensnaring influence of a single woman.